Good afternoon, guys. This is 4.5 day one notes. It is solving quadratic equations by factoring and graphing. So here's a cool connection. We just spent an entire week reviewing factoring, and now we're going to apply that. So we're going to start with a warm-up. To find, uh, see if the back of the notes are blank. You don't need to grab a marker board, but just find a little space. And number one, or this might be in your notes, um, number one is solve. 2x minus 11 equals negative 15. So go ahead and try it. All right, I would add 11 to both sides of the equation and get 2x equals negative 4, dividing by 2, x is negative 2. That's my answer. So when you solve an equation, you're trying to find the value of the variable. Okay, that's really important. When you solve an equation, you're trying to find the value for the variable. So in this warm-up, we got x equals negative 2. In the second warm-up problem, it says factor the quadratic expression. So again, we just spent all of this last week on this. And so step one is look for a GCF with 3x squared plus 43x minus 30. So there's no GCF. Then we're going to do the trinomial, so we're going to do the A times the C. So I'm going to take 3 times negative 30. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 90 but we'll add to 43. If you can't come up with a pair on your own, then you want to try, start with, say, negative 1 times 90, negative 2 times 45. Hey, there we got it pretty quick. So this is going to be 3x squared minus 2x plus 45x minus 30. So at this point, this should not be a problem for us. If it is, make sure you're getting to math lab and office hours. You should be doing both. So I'm splitting the middle. This is an x, and I get 3x minus 2. You write down the middle operation sign. The GCF of the next two is a 15, and I get 3x minus 2. Remember what we talked about when we factored? The parentheses should be the same. If they're not, you've made a mistake. So the common factor is 3x minus 2, and what's left is x plus 15. I want you to notice the difference between number 1 and number 2. When you are asked to solve, you're getting a value for x, and there's an equal sign. In number two, there is no equal sign. So I'm not solving when it says factor the expression. And there's no equal sign. All right, let's look at our notes now. Again, this is 4.5. And you're going to fill in what you see in red in the blanks. You can use factoring to solve certain quadratic equations. A quadratic equation in one variable is an equation that can be written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is called standard form of the equation. If you remember from Algebra 1, the zero factor property says if a times b equals zero, then a is zero or b is zero. So here we go. If you want to solve, you want to write in standard form. Get everything on one side equal to zero. So step one, write in standard form. Step two, factor completely. And step three, use the zero product property to solve. So please
please make sure you're writing this down. When you want to solve a quadratic equation, you put it in standard form, factor it completely, use the zero product property to solve. So what I want you to notice is different from the warm-up. In number two, number two in the warm-up was an expression. There was no equals and it didn't say solve. So in example one, it now says solve the following quadratics by factoring. So factoring is the method, but I have an equation and I'm trying to solve it. So in letter A, it's already in standard form. Standard form means everything on one side equal to zero. So I'm going to go straight to factoring. I happen to know there's no GCF. And the x squared has a 1 in front, so I can do this the fast method. I'm thinking of two numbers that multiply to 15, but add to 8, so that's 5 and 3. So step 2, factor it. Step 3, here's the zero product property. You set x plus 5 equal to 0, and you set x plus 3 equal to 0. Then we know how to solve this. I would subtract 5 and get x equals negative 5. I would subtract 3 and get x equals negative 3. So let me go over the steps one more time. You write it in standard form. That means get everything on one side equal to 0. Factor it completely and then use the zero product property to solve. So let's look at letter B. 40a squared plus 4a equals 0. Step 1, it's in standard form, so I don't need to do that. Step 2 is to factor, and here's where the confusing part is. So within step 2, I've got to go back to a step 1 of what's step 1 in factoring. Step 1 in factoring is to look for a GCF. There is a GCF here. 4a is my GCF. So I'm going to factor out the 4a and get 10a plus 1. Now it's completely factored. So I set 4a equal to 0 or 10a plus 1 equal to 0. So when I solve 4a equals 0, I'll divide by 4. So a is 0. Over here, I subtract 1 and get 10a equals negative 1. And dividing by 10, a is negative 1 tenth. If you need to, you pause the video and rewatch any part. Or if you need to pause just to write things down, please, please make sure you pause the video at any point. All right, example two. Go ahead and write what you see in red. It says get everything on one side equal to zero. That is putting it in standard form. Example two. Solve the following quadratics by factoring. So what you want to do when you're doing standard form, you want to put the x squared on a side that makes the x squared positive. So if I look at letter A and I have 3x minus 6 equals x squared minus 10, I want to move it to the right side because x squared would be positive. So I'm going to subtract 3x and add 6. So that 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. Again, you have to stop and think and make a decision. Which side should you put your x squared on? So that question is the side that makes the x squared positive. Now I'm going to factor this. Okay, there's no GCF, so I can do this one. What two numbers multiply to negative 4 but add to negative 3? So it's a minus 4 and a plus 1. Remember? Check your work when you factor. Okay, do that in this step because you can catch a silly sign mistake if you just check it. Then I set x minus 4 equal to 0 and x plus 1 equal to 0. 
One quick comment right here, don't lose this equation. I've seen it where students drop the equals zero. And that's actually a false statement. So you don't want to do that. Make sure you keep it an equation. Adding 4, I get x is 4. Subtracting 1, I get x is negative 1. All right, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause the video and try letter B on your own where you get everything on one side equal to zero and make sure w squared is positive, factor it completely, and use the zero product property. No, seriously, pause the video. So I'm going to add w squared and subtract 23w from both sides. So that's 3w squared minus 33w equals 0. Okay, hopefully you've resumed the video. Step 1 in factoring is a GCF. There is a GCF. Don't let this bother you because there's not three terms. You still start with looking for a GCF. Now I set 3w equals 0 or w minus 11 equals 0. Dividing by 3, w is 0, adding 11, w is 11. Just double check real. Okay, so I have this slide here that I'd really like you to think about before um, we stop for this lesson. It says, what is the difference between factoring an expression and solving a quadratic equation by factoring? There's actually a very, very big difference. This is not in your notes, okay? This is not in your notes, so don't think this is missing. I just added this on to get you to think about it. It looks similar. There's definitely similarities. On the left, it says factor x squared minus x minus 12. I want you to notice when it says factor and there's no equals, you're not solving. Okay, you are not solving this. So this would be x minus 4 and x plus 3. That is my final answer to an expression. This is just an expression, so I'm just factoring it. In the right side, it says solve by factoring. There's an equal sign. So I will go through and factor it, but it's an equation. Okay, this is an equation. When you have an equation, you go one step further after you have factored it. And you do the zero factor property. The most common mistake I see is students will take expressions and solve them when it wasn't even an equation. So be careful with that. But you really stop and think about this. They're not the same. All right, so this should wrap it up for 4.5, the day one notes.